Welcome to this week's episode of Matador Express. I'm your host, Mike DuPont. And on this week's episode, we'll be talking with Candy Whitaker and Amber Battle about a little bit of Lady Raider basketball. So just tell us, talk a little bit about how practice went today. What, what, did, what, did you, what have you seen? How's it been going? How's it improving? Went well. I, you know, today we had a great practice. I think we made great strides on both sides of the ball. Um, offensively, looking better, starting to feel more comfortable with what we're doing. Um, defensively, same thing. We put in a new zone in the last couple of days, so starting to see um, people get, you know, understanding it, the concepts of it, and, and doing a lot better, practicing harder. Um, making more layups, you know, all the little things that we emphasize every day. Yes, ma'am. And um, talk a little bit about, you, you, you talked last week at Availability about um, pushing the tempo and, and, and changing the tempo. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk a little bit about how that has progressed from week to week, how that's changed? Well, I think we're getting in better shape, and I think the better shape you're in, the more up-tempo you can play. Um, I think that plays to our strengths. You know, we have some good athletes that I think can play in the open floor, and we want to open up the basket and, and play in a fast tempo and try to score easy baskets as much as we can um, and then when we can't we need to execute in the half court and um, with with so many young with so many young players this this season um, how much are you gonna be leaning on on seeing on leadership from players such as Amber Battle or um, on uh, Kelsey Baker and, and just play, players who have a little bit more experience doing this you know sure, at a collegiate sure I think all the returners have need to share that responsibility and um, need to step up and be leaders for us, and and even the redshirt freshmen that have been at Tech, you know, a full season, um, are are taking part in that and doing a great job. But I think our freshmen are too. I mean, they're not afraid to be leaders and step up and be vocal and um, and be the ones. And I think that's what makes um, some of those younger kids unique as well. You mentioned redshirt, um, the redshirt players. I, um, I, I noticed today, Mentor Spears, she's very active vocally mm -hmm. uh, with, on with, on de on defense. What do you yes. what do you make of that? Uh, she's just, she wants to be great. She wants to be a leader. She has the ability. She has some natural instincts to lead. Um, she does things the right way. So when you do those things that you can, you can be that leader. Um, we've asked her to step up and do those things and, and she knows uh, what's going on. So when you understand the game, uh, you're more likely to be able to help someone else and she's doing a fantastic job at it. Well, Coach Whitaker, thanks so much for sure. your time. Sure, absolutely. It. Thank you. Amber, just, just talk a little bit about um, how practice has been going the last few weeks. Practice is going good. We're uh, learning a new system, so to get a hang of that, it's, it's going to take some time, but I think everybody's adapting well. Uh, Coach Whitaker talks a lot about changing the tempo. How have you guys been working on doing that week to week? Um, you know, it's just learning process every week. Just our attitudes when we come out and work hard, and just get the job done. That's all it depends on. And um, how much are you? How much are you? Uh, how much has your role changed from last year to this year? Uh, it's a big change. You know, coming off the bench to now being one of the main scorers, leaders on the team. and I just have to step into that role with full responsibility, take everybody under my ring, under my wing and just be ready to go. And how do you adapt to that? How do you how do you accept that mindset? Is, is it a change for you at all? Do you have to step back and look at things sometimes? Um, it's definitely a change because I'm not much of a vocal person. So for me to step out of my comfort zone and be pretty vocal towards my teammates, it's a change, but I'm willing to do it for them. And um, just talk a little bit about um, just talk a little bit about uh, Kelsey. She's been she's been watching, watching uh, standing close by. Are you guys are you guys anxious to get her back? We're definitely anxious to get her back, but we have to work hard in her absence and just keep everything going. But we're definitely waiting for her to get back. Well, Amber, thank you so much for your time. Good luck this season. Thank you. That does it for this week's episode of Matador Express from the United Spirit Arena. I'm your host Mike Dupont, and we'll see you next week, Raiderland.